Welcome back to Jeep TV. I'm Brett, and today we're going to be working on SoCo and getting a Brawley liftgate light bar installed. Um, they're actually pretty freaking awesome. I've seen a lot of people um, posting up the pictures of theirs installed on Instagram and stuff, and I was like, I've got to get one and check it out. So, anyways, here's a company Brawley liftgate light bars. Um, you can get it on Amazon, you can get them um, directly off their website, but for the most part, very, very simple. It wires into your dome lights, and it actually installs on the back hatch. Alright guys, let's take a look at some of the accessories this product came with. So, we've got a remote. You've got the remote adapter plug. You have the actual wires itself with the plug-in and two electrical raw-ended wires, zip ties, wire clamps, we've used these before, we're going to give you a sterile wipe, that way you can clean the area you're going to be sticking the light to, you've got these sticky backing like things, I guess so that way you can stick on there and attach the wire to it. They give you a small thing of corrugated pipe. And the only thing that I can think of that we're going to need to use are wire strippers and maybe some needle nose. And possibly some larger zip ties. We're going to go ahead and dive into the instructions as well. Um, this is for a two-door and or four-door. This will work on a JL and JK. Um, obviously, I have a JK. Um, and this is a four-door. The two door wiring, you're going to go into your single dome light and tap into the wires. So it shows here there's a yellow and black wire. You're going to be tapping into those. Very, very simple. Four door, same thing. The rear dome light, we're going to be tapping into those. Um, you're going to take this red wire and you're going to attach it to the yellow and white striped wire. And the black wire is going to attach to the black wire. Very, very simple, easy, cut and draw. If you want to use the remote, simply plug it in line before it goes to the actual light. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the light and we'll take a look at that. All right, let's go ahead and get this unboxed. Comes in this really cool tube. Set this off. Hope there's nothing else in there. Um, I have gone ahead and opened this just to check it to make sure it wasn't broken. So that way um, I didn't have to send it back. As you can see it had the pop foam or pop wrap plus a little sock over it. And it came in a very large square box. Um, so yeah, so here's the light. It comes with a 3M sticky backing, which is really cool. Um, it's prepped ready to go. You just peel this off. Um, it looks like it has about three feet of cord attached to it. You get these little bands on here to hold it down. Um, the lot, it's not very heavy at all. Um, it feels like it's um, made of like a, an al aluminum with a uh, plastic front on there. Um, not a whole lot of weight to it. It does feel durable and like it was made, um, you know, to last. It doesn't feel cheap at all. Uh, for the most part. You know, you never know what you're going to get. I guess these are Cree, all LEDs. So, um, yeah, I think that um, for the for the price, it's, uh, it's a good product. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to clean the backside of our Jeep. Um, so, we're going to go and pull this too. I'm going to use grease lightning and a microfiber towel. Um, you guys can use what they, uh, you know, sent in the packaging. But we're just going to get a couple sprays in here. My Jeep's really freaking muddy. So we're going to get in here, clean this up. Real quick, this is not going to sit on the glass. So if you're wondering if you have uh, tinted windows, if this is going to affect it or anything, um, or if you're going to be installing this and think, oh, well, I want to tint my windows. I don't want to um, have to uh, take it off. You know, don't have to worry about any of that. So once you get this in here, it's in this plastic 
groove area. Alright, so now that we've got this area cleaned off, we can now go ahead and get ready to apply our light and figure out which way our wires need to go. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and take our light. We're going to get the sticky tape side down. Let's just go ahead and dry fit it. See how it's going to line up. That looks good. You know, I've got the wire. It's actually overhanging out over here, which is fine, which is good for clearance. Um, if you want to, you can try to shift it all the way down. Just, that's what I'm going to try to do to get the most um, area for wire. So that way when it raises up, you know, that's how it's supposed to be. So we're going to go ahead and mash it down, work our way down, boom, light installed. I mean, you can sit here and press on this all day, but um, I do believe that's going to, you know, be all it takes. Alright, so we're looking straight up at the glass. What's up guys? So, we are going to take our wire and we want it to run along the side of this gasket mark. We don't want to break the seal of the gasket mark or get on the gasket mark because we don't want to jeopardize getting leaks and stuff in our Jeeps. So we're going to keep it right here along the side. Um, you do have a heater back here. Mine's broke. Um, it's not going to hurt anything to put anything on this heater. It's not going to get hot enough to really do any damage. It's all in in the glass and stuff like that so anyways we're gonna get the wire uh, stickies and go and get them on there and get this wire fastened down okay so we've got our little clips here um, we're gonna use the black ones on the window and then they've got white ones here that we're gonna use on the actual side of the Jeep if we want so we're gonna go along this edge right here um, and we're gonna run this wire up and get our stickies and place them on there that way the wire runs right along the uh, edge and it's not going to mess up anything also if you want to get your windows tinted still they can still come back in here and tint your windows and it's not going to have any issues on that got one sticky down so we'll do one there i'm going to do one right on the first line right there Away. Let's see, I've got a good six inches there. Let's go and give it another good six inches. Right, right there. That's good. I'm going to get one more. Let me get one right in this top corner right here. That way, when it comes up, it's going to feed straight over and through. So we've got one, two, three, four. I think that should do the trick. If we need more, we'll add more. All right, now we're going to be feeding our wire up and through. So let's go ahead and get our wire over here. I'm going to give it some slack. Get down and pinch it on there. All right, let's do it. We're going to pull a little tight. It's on there. Here, that one's on there, and we're gonna go and get this one on there. Nice straight line, looks good. Now, now look there. I know you really can't see, but let's go in for a closer look. So now we've got our lines all the way down. Um, you know, a lot of people are bringing theirs inside and then running it down. You know, if you really wanted to, you could run it down right here. It's not going to hurt anything to go along this gasket right here. Because you're not going to be messing with this gasket. This door closes down right here on the gasket. So let's take a look. Let me close it down. So look here. Now this wire comes in up here, but like I said, 
we can actually get this wire to come back down over there if you like. It's completely up to you. This is your project. You make it what you want. I'm going to make mine how I want it. And it might not be half bad going down. Alright, so I want to show you guys that I'm actually feeding this wire into... There's a little bitty crevice here uh, where this gasket is. I really want to hide this wire. So what I've done is I've started to um, shove in, back in behind here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to use my needle nose. And I've just, you know, barely just started pressing it in. Our wire is nice and hidden back here. You can't even tell. Got this uh, wrapped around the inside. I'm sure there's other ways that we're going to figure out how to hide this next. But um, now let's get the wire from here back up into the dome line. All right, so right now this is where we're at. We can close this down. And everything is tucked and out of the way. You know, it's going to come back up here. It's going to fold in a little bit and fold in there. But when you open it, it's going to flex back out, which is fine. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take off this dust cover. So we're going to unzip it, pull it back, and reveal the wire. There's a wire here. Um, second off, we're going to get our flathead, pop this loose, get this out, oh. and then we are going to get this apart, pull this out, set it out of the way. Now, we have a lot more slot here to deal with. Now you can clip this little clip right here. There's another one back here that you can take off. That way you have all the slack that you need. And we are going to slit the sheathing and expose these wires. It doesn't take much to cut through this little sheathing, so don't go too crazy with it. There's a ground. So there's a green wire. There's a yellow wire. There's a black wire. So let's get them all separated. All right. So one thing I do want to note is, you know, you can take these bundles of wire. There should be enough room to shove it back in here, so you can keep a lot of this wire, or you can trim it back as far as you like. We just need to tap in our red to the yellow and black to black. With these. There's no need for stripping or cutting, so you're going to take the uh, butted end, slide this wire in, and then you're going to take this little, this little slitted end, and you're going to get the wire you want to tap inside of it. So let's go ahead and get this one in here first, just like so, so it's on there. So then we're going to slide this wire up inside of it all the way till it stops. We're going to bring this over. And then we're going to clip it down. This is where your little needle nose are going to come in handy. That's it for that one. We're going to do the same thing for the black wire. Woo! Alright. So that's on there. Let's get our little plug. Over here in the corner. And plug it up. Now that she's plugged up, it's on. Um, the remote 
does work. You can uh, brighten it, dim it. Now, I'm controlling this with it actually plugged in with constant power. It did come with a cigarette lighter and it's on constant power. Um, that is an option you have to do and I'm testing it that way. But for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, wire in the remote uh, little controller and I'm going to keep it back here. There has been people say that they go faulty or go bad. So I'm going to make it to where I can get to it and cut that out if it does happen to where it goes out. Uh, make it easy accessible so I can unplug it and just wire it directly in. But I'm going to use the remote. Um, and I'm not going to do constant power with the uh, cigarette lighter. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get this all taped up and get everything put back together. And we'll see what it looks like. Nice and hidden and neat. See how my wires are hidden. Get this one wire coming down. I'm going to put this cover back on. I think this light does a really, really, really good job. Um, so it's just me with the light now back here. It may time out. I may have to put my keys in the ignition. But um, guys, pretty straightforward, easy install. I didn't go off their install guide. Um, I want to keep my wires more hidden. Um, they have it to where you're going to be putting it all along the inside. And I've decided that I'm not going to do that. So. Um, you can follow the directions step by step. Um, you are going to get a different result than what's here. Um, but for the most part, I think this is a lot cleaner of an install and it looks a lot better and it's just as functional. Okay, so we have come where it is a bit darker. Um, we're down here by the uh, pole area. So um, I'm going to go ahead and turn just the cab lights on. That's the cab lights. These LEDs are flipping bright. And then we can turn on the backlight remotely. So this is with the cab lights only. And then we'll add a lot more. I mean, it does brighten it up. That is a lot of light. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Thanks for joining me today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If this is your first time here, hit that like button. Check out some other videos and subscribe. Um, anyways, take care guys. Peace out. Keep jeeping.